today we will be talking about developing your personal brand. Not that I'm an expert in developing brands or, or I have a personal brand, which is well known, but I would just like to share my ideas on how, what are the major tips and pitfalls in developing your personal brand. Apart from working for PwC as an auditor, uh, it might sound a bit boring, but uh, I also teach at local universities. I teach economics, financial accounting, financial reporting, and things like that. And three years ago or four years ago, I don't remember exactly, I asked my students, what do you think about personal brand? So, what, so when you hear personal brand, what is it to you? What does it mean to you? And I asked them to think over the night and come back to me next day and present their personal brand. So people came, so they thought personal brand is just having some logo. Uh, by the way, these names, uh, I got permission from all of them to present their logos here. As auditors, we are over obsessed about confidentiality issues, so I, I got all my permissions. So, uh, so this is what they came up with, which is nice, and see, I like Tahira's Tahira Gurbano's logo better, like uh, woman hair, etc. But uh, personal brand is much more than just having your logo. In fact, you don't even need to have a logo to have a personal brand. What's personal branding? To many people, for some people, it's a description of the process whereby people and their careers are marked as brands. I don't like this definition a lot because this definition largely focuses on career. We often hear this saying, particularly in the industry that I am working, that you have to hit a right optimum work-life balance, you, you, you should spend some quality time with your family to have a good work-life balance, etc. I think this phrase is a wrong phrase, work-life balance, because your life consists of work and non-work time. So work is a part of your life. It's not something outside of your life. So saying that this is my life, this is my work, is a wrong expression because it's together. And when thinking about the brand, your personal brand, you should think about both sides, working and non-working time. You cannot present one brand during your non-working hours and another, absolutely another brand while you're working. That, that's nonsense to me. That doesn't work. So your personal brand, I think, should cover both areas. So what, what is personal brand to me? To me, personal brand is what other people think of you. It's basically your reputation. In some ways, it's outside of your control, but sometimes you can influence over it. Let's see how you can influence over it. Now, I will ask you to do something for me. Can you close your eyes for a few seconds? Imagine it's your funeral party. <laughs> you don't throw parties at your funerals, but imagine it's your funeral ceremony. Now, there are people attending your funeral ceremony, and after, during the ceremony, they talk about you. So this guy was a was a real psycho, or this guy was very helpful. So what would you like those people talk about you during that funeral? Just think a few sentences that you want them to talk at your funeral. So this is called walking backwards in creating your personal brand. You can open your eyes now. So you think what you want them to say about you then, and then you walk backwards to start creating that image so that they would say it in the future. So that, uh, to me, that's personal branding. Why do, we need, uh, why do we need personal branding in any case? Because you cannot avoid having a personal brand. Personal branding is unavoidable. Because what we say, we said that personal brand is what other people think of you. You cannot make people not think of you. They will think of you at any time. 
The issue is that you can influence how they would think about you. One is that they will think badly of you or the way that you don't want them to think of you. The other thing is that you can influence them the way you want. Your well-taught personal brand separates you from the nameless masses. Today we have Panasonic, we have Sony, we have Toshiba, we have Volvo that everyone knows. Also, there are nameless uh, brands that are around and you see them in the market every day. So, first, you cannot avoid having a personal, you will have a personal brand, but would you like it to be a well-taught personal brand or just a part of the nameless mass? That's the uh, question that you need to uh, answer for yourself. Now, why do we need personal branding? in today's competitive world, particularly from the career perspective, job market is getting more and more competitive. There is a very well-known personal branding expert, William Aruda. He says that personal branding is a unique promise of value. So when you present yourself to people, you're actually promising with your behavior, with your looks, you're actually promising them what kind of value you will bring to them. So to your employ employers, you need to present what kind of value you will bring to them. So does it mean that if you have a job, then you don't need a personal brand? Because, you know, I got my personal grad, I got my job, I'm done. Do I need to further develop my personal brand? Yes, because of two reasons. Now, job royal loyalty is a history. Now, 50 years ago, 40 years ago, people would start in a company, particularly in our part of the world, and they will retire from that company. Now, today it's not like that. We can rarely find people who are spending more than three, four years in the same company or in the same organization, which is not wrong, absolutely not, but job loyalty is a history, therefore you should always think about your further career. So ha getting a job is not enough. Having a career is important. Therefore, you will always need a personal brand to um, build upon your career. Now, uh, before moving the tips from uh, my own experience on how to develop a personal brand, I would like to uh, share one misconception with you. Oh, maybe it is a misconception to me. Maybe you'll find it very logical and right. The issue is that sometimes I keep reading in this uh, literature related to personal branding that personal branding is when people say something, you should come into mind. For example, when people say uh, music, Madonna comes to mind. So it means Madonna as a personal brand. For example, uh, who would you think if you hear Football, what's the first name that you come to my mind? Oh, that's, that's the evil inside me, says that. Don't listen to him. Okay, who is the second one? First, he's sometimes right. Who is the second one? Like Messi, Maradona, Pelé, etc. right? However, I see it in a slightly different way. You cannot be Maradona, if you're a football player, not all of them can be Maradona or Messi or Pele, right? Or El Chinibado. Not all of them can be that. But to me, personal branding is that when I say your name, when I say Messi, what's the, what are the three adjectives that come to your mind? So if people can easily say that, quickly can say that, then you have a personal brand. But if you are a gray person, not black, not white, People don't know, people cannot describe you with three adjectives very quickly, then you don't have a personal brand. You are, you are very complex. So the, that, that's very important thing to me, that personal branding is not to be the first in your area, to be top guy in your area. It is something that people will think of you and they can easily think of you. Now, uh, coming back to tips from my own experience. The first question you need to answer relate, relate to personal branding is that, are you gonna fake it or you're gonna be real? A very, very important, big decision. So imagine this, this is me. 
This is what I want to achieve. So I have two options. First, I'll just work through towards achieving these objectives. The second option is that I'll fake myself. I'll be he who is not me. And then that guy will achieve what I want. And sometimes you'll hear him saying, oh, I'm great. Oh, I'm wonderful. Oh, I did it. But he's right. He did it, not you. So if you depart from your being yourself, it's not your success anymore. It's that guy's success. Therefore, first question is that, am I going to be real? Am I going to present to public my real personality? Or am I going to fake and be another person? And that person will present uh, to society what uh, his own personality. In any case, I believe, I truly believe, being yourself is more important than anything else. Any success, any success is less important than being yourself. Because at the end of the day, if that fake person who is inside you achieves something, it's not your success anyways. You're disconnected from your true personality. Being, that's why, again, I believe the first big question is that, am I going to be real or, or not? I prefer being real in this case. Now, second tip. Find the memorable visual hook. That there, there was a research by U University of Maryland and so they, they took 100 people which have some memorable visual, visual hook. What, does, what it means is that when you look at them visually, you remember something about them. For example, they always wear red jackets. For example, they, they have long hairs. And 100 people who are changing their looks very frequently. Like they, one day they are with long hair, the other day with short hair, one day with beard, the other day without beard. So they don't have a standard, memorable visual look, hook. Now, statistics done by that university shows that people with distinctive looks are more trustworthy than the ones who change their looks very frequently. And it's very logical because you see a guy, he's always, he's always, he always looks the same way. Or at least he has got some elements which are always stable and constant. If you trust that person, then, then, then your trust is always constant. Because you believe that if this guy always does the things on a constant basis, then I can trust him on a constant, because he will not demonstrate the trust to me in one day and not demonstrate in the second day, because he's a trustworthy person. That, that's the, pr probably the logic behind it. But um, this is just statistics, interesting statistics that I wanted to share with you. Now, the third one, particularly in, in our society, uh, run a blog that belongs primarily to you. If you want to establish a well-known, well-thought personal brand, it is a good idea to run a blog on the internet that belongs to you. Don't be a part of, I mean, apart from being part of other blogs, you can have your own blog sharing your own ideas. In the United States, in academic world, there is a phrase saying that publish, or perish. So if you don't publish, if you're not there in the, uh, in the places that people read about you, read your thoughts, then people will not remember you. In running that blog, uh, however, sometimes the, mm, people make certain mistakes that I think, that uh, they forget about their personal traits, that they thought, remember the funeral day? So the, those, those personal traits should always be the mm, priorities when running that blog. Whatever you say in that blog, whatever thoughts you're uh, demonstrating should reflect those personal traits. Otherwise, you'll again drift from your true personality. Tip from number four, maybe it should, it should have been number one, teach. 
Now, people can say that maybe I don't have any pedagogical skills, maybe I don't have any presentation skills, doesn't matter. These things can be developed. Now, teaching, in particularly in our society, is important because uh, I, I've been teaching for last nine years and I feel that teaching, when you teach someone, you touch their life forever. So they will never forget you. Uh, that will create a personal brand for you as well. Of course, if, if you are a bad teacher, that will create a, again it will create a brand for you, but not a very favorable brand, but teaching is very effective, particularly in our society, teaching is effective in creating your personal brand. Tip number five, participate in social media. Here, LinkedIn is a bit different than others, in my opinion. So if you think a little bit from the perspective of career, not only your, uh, let's say, social part of your life, then uh, LinkedIn is one step ahead. It's just my opinion. So be a proactive user there. Uh, share some things, write on people's blog. I personally um, allocate half an hour each day just to go to LinkedIn. That's my LinkedIn hour, LinkedIn half hour, and, and write something there. And uh, I have 2,500 active connections, which is important. In, in a career that you're running, particularly important. Now, tip from number, uh, tip number six, get the professional qualification in your area of expertise. So important in our society. Maybe not very much important in other societies, but in Azerbaijan, getting the professional qualification in your area, what's the professional qualification, it can be anything related to your, for example, in my case, it is being a member of Association of Certified Chartered Accountants, which is uh, a well-known association. And for some other, uh, for some other, um, it could be certified marketing specialist. Anything that is international, that's the professional qualification, is very important in building your personal brand because people give importance to such uh, international qualification. Tip from tip number seven: be modest and simple. Always works. <laughs> and finally, tip number eight uh, is master in one of your hobbies. So uh, again, uh, in Canada, I don't remember the name of the think tank, but there is a PR think tank. They did a research, and that research shows that people with semi-professional skills in music, they did it only on music, give a better signal to others regarding their personal brand. So uh, it could be music, it could be sports, it could be something. For me, for example, it, it's tricks. So I have three kids, and in order to entertain them, I, I bought a few books on how to do tricks, and I, I, I sometimes do tricks to them. I would love to do it, I, I would love to do one for you, but unfortunately my time is over. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much for listening. <laughs>